uh, my first job uh, was uh, before I graduated. Even before I graduated, actually, I moved to Atlanta uh, and uh, and worked for this company called Atronics Engineering. Um, it was it was basically industrial automation company trying to do um, you know heavy equipment for big you know conveyance kind of vendors, uh, and that gave me a good opportunity to like get my foot in the door by understanding the basics of what goes into like how things are related right when you're dealing with controls it's this thin borderline between hardware and software um, where it's super exciting where you can like really go in all electrical engineer mode and then um, focus on the hardware stuff uh, and go into schematics design go into like design testing stuff like that uh, and also focus on the software side to, to to code the controls that goes into the PLCs or the SCADA systems and, and, and any sort of industrial automation framework that you're using, right? So that's what I really loved about, uh, about uh, controls in general. And that first job gave me a very um, sort of warm uh, entry into, into the field because, you know, um, the expectation over there was to overlook, you know, projects in general and also help in these aspects ad hoc. Um, which gave me the relative freedom to like dedicate enough amount of time to different things and, and go into that. That was the story of my first job. Till I, that, that happened till I graduated actually. And so around, I don't know, I think around like four or five months. Post that, there was this other company in Atlanta that contacted me uh, uh, called Cont Container Automation Systems. What they did was they had, uh, they had uh, technology was, that was relatively outdated. And what they wanted to do was uh, have someone come in and, and really revamp the controls and like the servo motors, the drives uh, and all sort of actuation systems that they had on the machines so that they can, um, you know, re uh, speed up the machine uh, by an order of magnitude and make it relevant to what's happening in the industry today, right? So uh, it, was, it was a pretty nervous moment for me, honestly, to begin with because there's this huge expectation from go go going from doing something, you know, ad hoc where I could help to this where there's a responsibility and mm. uh, making these machines run is on me literally right but anyway i i, I took up that responsibility uh, to 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 lead those efforts over there and uh, over the, over the period of like the next close to a year um, we you know really revamped like five different lines of products that they had to to make it relevant so there's this concept of cycle time in the industry that as we know it and uh, like the cycle time uh, the, the more you reduce the cycle time the more efficient you are so uh, what I did there was able to help them uh, improve the cycle time of their machines several fold which made them really attractive to their uh, customers awesome I love it <laughs>